Hi. Hello. Kenny, welcome to Barcelona. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Is this your first time in Barcelona? Uh, no, it's not. I've been here before, um, and I've really enjoyed being here. I love this place, so I'm happy to be back. Yeah, I've seen you before in Barcelona in open air disco. Oh. I remember. Did you, did you like it? I remember. Did you? What do you think of Barcelona? Would you live here? Uh, yeah, why not? I like it a lot. Sorry, beautiful city. You can stay. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> when did you discover that you were you had talent for music? Um, I don't know whether I discovered it, but it was just always in my heart to do music when I was very small. I was singing uh, at home with a microphone and everything. Um, and I always knew um, that I was going to be in music one day or I was going to be a famous singer one day. How was the story when uh, you were at Theater Bowling Discovery when you were singing with Optimo? Mm -hmm. Well, I was in a, a club. We were performing in a club and Dieter Bowling came to the club. And he uh, saw me and he invited me into the studio. Um, and then I um, recorded the first single, which was um, I Can Lose My Heart Tonight. Um, and it was released on my birthday. Um, and it went into number 13 straight away, so it was very successful. What kind of music did Optimo do? Um, it was kind of pop, a bit solely or something. We did uh, lots of different tracks. Um, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I, but I enjoy this more. Who wrote all the CC Cats tunes? Um, these are Bowden's. Everything. Did you write the lyrics for some? No, he wouldn't let me. He just wants to do it all himself. <laughs> what countries have you been with your music playing? Oh, playing. Um, before. Um, well, everywhere. Well, in Europe, everywhere. Um, Hong Kong, I went. I went to America. Um, Israel. Except England, except England where I live. <laughs> Someone said they went to Russia and they saw your records and pictures of you in Russia. In Russia? Yes, yes. I, I, I've been very, very famous in Russia. Um, I went over there, I did a tour. Um, it was actually my last concert I ever did was in Russia in 1990, which was um, uh, for special uh, for children, you know, for a special event. And it was, it was wonderful. Do you think your physical image helps the music to make it in the music business? Could he be a famous singer? Yeah, why not? Uh, why not just, uh, you know? I don't know. Well, you just got to try. If you really want it, then you might get it. So the phys physical image isn't so important. Well, it helps, but I don't think that nowadays it's um, so important as it has been. And I think in the past it was more important, you know. But in the end, it's your heart, you know, what you get. So that's the most important. What, what have you been doing all these years since you... What have I been doing? Um, not much. <laughs> no, I've just been living life. Um, uh, I just wanted to, um, you know, get away from it all. Uh, I went to London, um, which I've been living for the last 10 years. And I just started uh, painting, um, writing poetry, and started writing my own songs, which um, I really enjoyed. So, um, I really miss music, so um, I'm happy um, that everything's happened the way it happened. And, um, you know, it's just time for me to come back. Yeah. And how does, what does uh, Crazy bring to your music? Crazy, yeah. crazy. Well, it basically, it basically brings it um, into the now. You know, it brings it into the 90s, um, you know, with the rap and everything. Um, and obviously a bit of um, crazy. <laughs> a bit of craziness. How did your collaboration, how did you meet CC Catch? How did I meet CC Catch? Basically through Dieter Bolden after I did the song. Um, I, I did the video and I met... I mean, I saw her first from the video, when I did the video. That's when I saw her, her, and, and I met her first at Top of the Pops. So, that's when we first met at Top of the Pops. Crazy, where are you from? I'm from Washington, D.C. Ah, oh, Washington, your accent is different. <laughs> <laughs> different? I, mean, I live in Germany, that's why I forgot the answer. <laughs> crazy, crazy, do you want to make a little rap? A little rap? A little okay. Rap. okay. Okay, let me see. For all. Prepare for my expedition, don't be missing, beware of your competition, now they're wishing I'd never enter through the door, past tense, now I'm giving you more and more, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see the future, the evolution of dance music, it, is it gonna finish, is it gonna be eaten by rock?
rock music or is it going to keep on going? Well, I mean, it has been going for, for you know, ages and ages. So I think it will be as strong as ever, you know. I mean, that's why it's coming back as well, because people want it. You know, they want party, they want to be happy, you know, so to stay. What are your plans for the future? Uh, my plans are, my desire is to uh, release my own album, because I started writing my own songs. So I would really love to do that, and I hope that um, all my fans will like it as much as all the other songs. And I just wanted to say uh, to all my fans, thank you for coming here, because uh, thank you for staying true to me, and I love you all. <laughs> Will you be playing live here in Barcelona? Um, at this moment, there's nothing definite, but uh, I hope in the summer to come over to do some gigs. You know? Why did it take you so long to to release new songs? Why? Um, well, it was down to the ball and he made the decision, so um, ask him why it took him so long. <laughs> why is the dance, pop music, coming back now in the 90s? Why? Well, I think because people like it as much as they like it then, because it's happy music, party music, um, and I suppose people just love it. Why have the, the versions that have appeared remixed instead of just doing a greatest hits or with your original versions of the song? Uh, I don't know why, but I mean, there has been greatest hits, um, and um, Dieter Bourne did some remixes, and so he just wanted to do it, you know, he just thought, he just loved it, he wanted to do it with... Crazy and um, as soon as one, really. Crazy, which rap or R&B groups have you been playing before? Wow! Well, the one I think they know here is Touche. I did YMCA with Touche. Uh, I'm also the rapper for DJ The Crow. I'm also the rapper for the group The Flavor. We did a group um, song called Do That To Me One More Time. Um, I was also a dancer with 2 Visa. Sing ooh la la la. Um, ah, two Ibiza. Yeah. Ooh la la la. Yeah. Ooh la 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 la. Ooh la la la. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, la la la. Oh, and a lot of other projects. I mean, I can't think of all of them. Run the MC? No, I wish. That was with Jason. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't worked with Jason Demons yet. That's next. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you going to do a like, concert in Barcelona? I hope so. You know, I'd love to come here. Uh, I really hope so. I, I think I will come. Yeah. Yeah, we got to talk to the record company. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Sissy Catch. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Much. <laughs> <laughs> you are the Muchas gracias. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And thank you very much.